It'll be one to go this time, bye. Coming to the green, buddy, coming to the green. Let's go get him. Go, 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 take, 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 go, 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 go. Get your motor running. Racetake.com. Please go ahead. Uh, thank you. Uh, uh, Ryan, uh, what kind of attraction or draw is the, uh, uh, to your family and friends is that gold uh, Daytona 500 trophy, wherever you have it displayed? And do you still give it uh, some special attention? Uh, yeah, it's actually sitting right on my desk and my computer in the house. It's, um, it's, uh, it's a special piece for me. It's, you know, obviously there's, it's one of a kind. And it was kind of interesting when I got the trophy at first. I thought, man, it's a pretty cool trophy. And they're like, well, yeah, it's gold. I'm like, well, I figured every one of them was gold, you know, but uh, the 50th running was pretty neat, and um, you know, it, it's 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 definitely special. It's a unique trophy. Uh, I'm definitely into old cars and things like that, and to see the old car on top of it, that's pretty neat as well. Thank you, and let me be the first to say that Tampa welcomes you this Thursday. Oh, Bye. thank you. Our next question is from John Nevins from Captain Thunder Racing. Please go ahead. Hey, Ryan, how you doing, buddy? Good, how are you? I'm great. Hey, we sat together last June at the Kennedy Space Center um, when you got your flags back from the International Space Station, and we talked a little bit about Tony, and at the time, it hadn't been announced that you were going to drive for him, but everybody knew that Tony was leaving at that time, and I asked you the question, just random, you kind of gave me a story, I was too dumb to say it, though, uh, I, I said, would you like to have Tony Stewart as a teammate? And I remember you laughed and you looked at me and, and you, you said something about being far-fetched. And then you looked at me again and you said, but I know more than you do. Yep. And I said, well, go ahead, ex expand on that. And you said, no, just leave it at that. I know more than you do. <laughs> so you knew at that time, at least there were conversations, that you may be joining Tony. What I'm wondering is, you've just talked about how difficult it was finishing the year knowing you were moving on. How difficult was it? maybe those couple of months over the summer that you really knew you guys were putting this thing together but you had to be so tight-lipped about it well it was it was tough for me because i was you know I, I was off of a daytona 500 victory with a team that i'd been with for seven years and um you know i had a situation where that came where i you know potentially had an opportunity to move on and um, Tony gave me that opportunity. We talked about it, and my season was kind of dissolving, let's say, throughout the, the summer months. But, yeah, you're right. Uh, you potentially have a good future in Law and & Order or CSI. And uh, <laughs> oh, I, I, um, I answered the way I wanted to answer, and, and you kind of got your answer without knowing too much. Thanks, Ryan. Hey, best of luck at the uh, 500 this year. I'd love to see you repeat. Thank you. Our next question is from Greg Kilmick from KGKIRadio.com. Please go ahead. Hey, Ryan. Uh, thanks for spending some time with us today. Oh, thank uh, you. My question to you is, uh, you, you know, you have a, a degree in mechanical engineering. And to the young guys that are coming up and racing right now, um, how has that uh, impacted your career in terms of being able to uh, communicate to team owners, to sponsors, uh, to crew chiefs? How has that been able to, uh, to help you out in your career in racing? Well, for me, it's just taken me to another level to understand the race car, um, the physics part of it, the gravities and the way, the, the way all the things work with the race car mechanically. That, that, um, that makes a difference to me personally. Uh, I'm not saying it makes me smarter than everybody else, but it's made me a smarter person to the point that I tell anybody, if you have the opportunity to go to college or a university to get a further education, do it. Um, what you major in isn't what's going to make you the ultimately smart guy. It's the well-roundedness that you come out of any kind of further education with that uh, makes you a better person and will make you a smarter person in order to make more money and be happier in the future. So. Uh, for me, um, my my actual title is vehicle structure engineering. It's a mechanical backbone, but it gave me the opportunity to be flexible in school and then ob obviously have that diploma and that education to fall back on for the rest of my career. Well, and, and that's exactly the, the, the point of it. it. You've got something that a lot of guys don't have. You have an opportunity because you, you had the foresight to think about, you know, what am I going to do after my career? And, and there's just so many young guys that are out there right now racing at the local re levels, Ryan, 
that are just that they don't have the opportunity or they have the opportunity to go to school but they have these ideas that they're going to be nascar racers and and i've seen it time after time again that it's it's difficult for these these young men right now because you know the dream when they were 18 19 and 20 did not materialize for them and they have nothing to fall back on and you have a degree and and and, and, and let's face it man i watched you went uh, running back in the usac deal with uh, stewart and tony stewart's a friend of mine uh, and and you were you were a, an outstanding race car driver then and you are now but to but in the you know looking into the future you just kind of like said okay you know I, I need this degree I need to, to be able to to further my education to be able to fall back on something and a lot of the young guys don't do that well I I do get a few emails through our website and the fan club and things like that where people will tell me that their son or their daughter is going to school because of the things that I did in my career and that's that's very gratifying and and and, and and to me, it's it's cool to have somebody model their future off of the things the things that you did. But in the end, you have to create your own future. You have to do the things that make you happy. They have to do the things that are going to be beneficial for you financially, and and for your personal life uh, for the long run. And um, I would definitely say, just as I did before, that uh, any kind of further education, it's it's just that it's it's going to make you smarter. It's going to make you a more, more well-rounded person. All right, Ryan, go get him at uh, at Daytona, and uh, man, you're gonna have your uh, hands full with your uh, with your boss. <laughs> I'll I'll be fine, thank you. All right, buddy, thanks.